Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time I'd like just to make a little introduction to Mass FX constraint and it's just to know that inside Mass FX we have the constraint feature that gives us the possibility to constrain the movement of the dynamic objects. So for example, in this example, uh, you know that if we play the animation, we have this sphere falling down to uh, and colliding with these objects and if we do the same with this one we'll have uh, the, the sphere falling down with no collision. If we like to have a, a, a connection between this two sphere and I mean something like if this, fall, uh, this sphere fall down uh, and this one will collide there, this one will have the force to take away this one from the ground. So let's uh, give the mass effects rigid body to this one and let's set to static and let's give the mass effects rigid body and gives dynamic and the same for the sphere. Okay, uh, if now I press the uh, start simulation button over the toolbar, you see that's the animation. I stop and go back and we have the possibility to create uh, a constraint and to make the constraint we have just to select the child use the control key and select also the uh, the parent and then we have to go and then you can press the uh, maintain the create rigid constraint sorry select this one and this one we have some kind of problem using the it is wrong. Okay, now it works. Uh, you see that we have some lines connecting there and that's the uh, connection between the objects. So if now we press the uh, play, you see that we have a connection. So uh, let's go back. Let's try to see more in depth what happened. And you see that this one, sorry, uh, there was a mistake. Let's retry. Okay. You see that we have a fixed connection between the objects, uh, and that's the constraint. So when this one is falling and a uh, colliding there, this one is falling, but then the force between the, the, the two sphere, the connection, will uh, give the possibility to this sphere to take away also this one. And that's a really interesting way to control the dynamic system. And sorry, before it crashed, so I had to uh, restart. And this was our scene before. Uh, so you see we are still working on this one. And just to uh, understand how it works, and we have some options there. And you see that we have the parent, and that's this one, and the child. And you see that we have the possibility to make it unbreakable or breakable. So uh, the first one you saw is unbreakable. So if we have the objects falling, we have always the constraint between the two. If we have the breakable, we have the possibility to break the connection if we have uh, a really high force or a really high torque between the subjects. So it, depending on the force and the torque applied to the constraint, it will break or not. Then you see that we have there the possibility to limit or lock or leave free the, uh, uh, the translation over the axis and the same for the swing and the twist of the objects, and you see we have the possibility to lock or uh, have a limitation or make it free, and you see for every single parameter. And then you see there we have the possibility to uh, control the spring and then damping of the connection and restricting the swing and the twist for the connection. And then back we have some parameters there to have an advanced tool. Um, 
So to talk more in depth of everything, uh, every single parameter, and we'll, uh, uh, it's just, uh, th this video is just to see everything value, uh, what we can do with it, and uh, in the future we'll prepare a really uh, uh, entire uh, video tutorial to make a test with uh, the constraint usage. So I was talking before the translation limits, and you see that we have the three uh, axes, and with the product possibility to lock or to have a limitation or to have three. If it is lock, we have no parameters. If it is free, we have no parameters. Obviously, if we have free, free, and free, we have no limitation over the translation. So it is something like just a spring. It's just uh, something like that, and. Uh, we have no movement, so it's something like simulate a spring or a damping or something like that. Uh, if we have the limitation, you see that we have the possibility to uh, control the limitation with a limit radius. That is the uh, the distance. Uh, mm, let's say it's the distance along the 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 axis uh, where the uh, the parent and the child can move away uh, from the previous uh, position. Uh, we have the bounce, and that's the possibility that the object can return uh, back to the initial uh, position. If we have zero, obviously we have no bouncing, and if we have 1.0, um, we have a complete bounciness, so we have the possibility to come back completely. Uh, we have the spring, and uh, the spring value can uh, control the strength of the spring that maintain uh, that give force to the objects to bounce back using the, uh, sorry using the, the the bouncing value, and the damping is the uh, the the effect of damp to drag. The, the movement of the objects when the limit is reached. So it's something like a drag force uh, when the, the object is near to the limit. Uh, that's uh, just for the translation. And obviously, we have the swing and the twist. And that's uh, for a more complex um, treatment of the constraint. And you see that we have a complete control over the spring. So uh, I was just interested to introduce the connection using a constraint between two objects and just to cover the translation limits. So uh, it's just this, uh, this point that can introduce us to the constraint. And we have to uh, go for a more in-depth tutorial to see how to work uh, in-depth with a constraint. Uh, that's important just to know for the moment that we have it and we can make more complex tutor uh, more complex uh, dynamic system inside 3ds Max using mass effects uh, for example you can uh, know that the rectal simulation inside um, there we have the possibility oh, sorry that's an error Let's see if we can see it. Uh, OK, between uh, the constraint, you see that we have different constraint with all the, uh, the information done. And I was creating just a slide, so it was just to slide over the axis. And uh, we have the possibility to create a ragdoll for the mass effects. And the ragdoll is just a series of dynamic objects uh, link it with constraint between all the objects. So that's uh, a really simple introduction, and uh, uh, it's not so so complex. But this was just to introduce a really complex uh, topics inside 3ds Max. So for the moment, that's all, and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.